Hi, this is Kan Shida from BA Publisher team. So today, like auditing and monitoring, uh, which is one of the uh, BA Publisher 11G feature. And with the new release of 11.15, we enhanced that feature further. Let's take a look. So there are two aspects of the uh, more auditing and monitoring, right? So the first thing is the four more in most important thing is the compliance and the risk management, right? So there are a lot of regulations, and each country has their own version of different regulations. Right. So um, those regulations ask us to um, audit uh, the data around the computer system, so to understand who accessing and what they're doing and when they're doing types of information. But when you look at it, auditing and monitoring is not just about uh, the compliance and risk management, right? It's about the, actually the improving the customer service by understanding what they do, how they do, and when they access. So you know when you think about the reporting environment is really like what are they doing uh, by using those reports how they're viewing reports what are their reporting experience like and when they access to those reports type of things by understanding those you can prepare your environments or scale and perform therefore like you can provide a better um, uh, uh, reporting experience right so what is be a publisher auditing and then the monitoring capability right so the first is a compliance auditing so provide the data required for the auditing through the database tables so that you can generate the reports in the market performance and also you can deliver those reports in um, many different um, delivery channels by using BI Publisher's capability. But the second is for the monitoring and analytics. So quickly visualize with interactive view to gain more insights with speed of thought about your um, reporting um, access data and monitor the reporting experience and performance productively. Right. And then the third is that how you manage that auditing and the policy type of things. So that we use the Fusion Middleware Central Management to centrally manage and set the policy of the auditing. And not just BA publisher, but also non uh, BA publisher or even non Oracle applications that are running on the Fusion Middleware together. So, what data um, you can audit with a BA publisher, right? So, first for the compliance and risk management. So you can audit the full logged in and the logged out at the BI Publisher reporting um, environment. Or if there is anybody trying to log in with invite user ID or password type of things. And also the basic thing is uh, full access to what report at what time. And then the next is for monitoring and analytics, right? So the, for the two things, right? Like first is user access, and the second thing is the report access. So for the user access, how many users have access to at the given time period, or who are the most active users, or what time and day the user access the most type of things. And for the report access, how many reports are generated at the given time period, any given time period, or what are the reports taking long time, or the commonly used reports, or, or what day and time the reports are accessed at the most, or like is there any errors happening around the reports type of things. So those are the the, um, the data came with the first release of BI Publisher 11G. So with this 11.1.5, what we did is we added more data to audit and monitor. So now, not just uh, those data that came with 11G uh, first release, but also now like you have like a data around the report. It's really specific, something about, um, particularly about the reports, right? So like report output format type or layout template or reporting locale or the processing time, the reporting data size about the report. And you can also like identify the reports were run online, uh, more like ad hoc way or on demand way or through the scheduler. Right. And also, we improve the interactive component to analyze uh, such data. So by adding list selector component, uh, so by using that, like, you can quickly uh, navigate through the, um, um, a lot of data from the auditing table uh, to gain more insights. Now, I have some demo that shows you the capability of the BI Publisher auditing and monitoring. So let's take a look. So here, um, I created uh, the five reports. Um, about the auditing and then uh, for, uh, the monitoring of the BI Publisher. So the first report I created it is about the user access, right? So by looking at this report, uh, you can answer the question now, like, hey, how many users log into the BI Publisher in any given uh, time? Or how many users actually try to log in and if they successfully log in or failed log in. So for example, like if I click failure, so these are the number of the users and the number of the times uh, that 
try to log into the VA publisher, but somehow they couldn't log in. If I click that again, like now, like the, the data show the combination. So for example, like if I'm interested in particularly this month, so the May, right? So these are the number of the users, three users, and then uh, these are the number of the times they uh, logged in uh, uh, to the system. So for example, right like now, like I can see, for example, Kanichiro Nishida at oracle.com, this user uh, failed to log in. Maybe like he typed the wrong uh, user ID uh, instead of like a uh, Kanichiro.nishida, right? Or for example, like if I'm interested in the last three months, so like May and April and then March, for example, and then I get to see more data. And then for example, here I see that uh, the WebLogic are the top users and the Barack Obama are the third users. And then also like now like I can see like what Barack Obama uh, is doing in our BI publisher reporting system. And obviously he's logging at around this time, which is mostly sometimes AM, but mostly the PM. And also here, these are the reports that he has been using. And also the formatting type. So like for example, employee by department report, he's looking at this report in Excel. Uh, on the other hand, over balance report, uh, balance letter report, he's looking at in a PDF. And this is the time that he accessed those reports. So this is about like auditing and monitoring data with the VA publisher, but looking at from the user access perspective. But also you can, um, because by using the same data, you can see that uh, the data from different perspective, which is the reports, right? So these are the number of the reports being um, run in a particular given uh, time period, and these are the number of the times the reports being executed, right? So for example, like I'm going to do the same thing if I'm interested in this month and then these two reports, right? For example, if I'm interested in maybe like last two months, uh, for example, these are the reports being called, and then if I'm interested in the last three months and more reports being uh, used and executed, right? And then this particular, um, when I look at here, so the Kanichiro Nishida, um, he's the one who's accessing the reports more than like the 50%, right? Uh, the times. Or uh, for example, in here, the WebLogic user, uh, which is a system administrator. And then now, like so, this is uh, Steve Jobs, and he's accessing basically the 10% of the time, uh, reports, right? And then if I'm interested in the, um, uh, Steve Jobs, for example, and then like I can see like what report he's accessing to, and then these are the reporting format. So for example, uh, when you look at the report, particularly you're interested in, let's say like, uh, uh, this audit report. So I can click this audit reports, and then these are the users accessing to that report, and then these are the uh, time those users are accessing to this audit report. And then when you look at it here, uh, you can see like how they, uh, they, the, those users are viewing those reports in. So mostly the analyze, which means this interactive view, um, but some users actually looking at a PDF, and then some users are looking at a HTML static format. And also, like I have um, cr uh, created a report performance report uh, by looking at this data. This is using also uh, the BI publisher's uh, monitoring data, uh, which captures the data processing time and also the data size, right? So like this chart particularly is having the processing time on the X1, uh, X axis and the data size on the Y axis. So in this way, like I can see there's some outlier. So when I look at this green dot, this is SA4 passenger report, looks like this report is taking a uh, longer time than the other reports, and also the data size is bigger. So let's look at, uh, get into more detail about this report, right? So it looks like a uh, majority um, of the time being spent for this report is report rendering instead of report the data process. And the processing time trend is somehow increased around particularly this time of like March 2nd, uh, 2011. So maybe there might be something that's going on around that area or like particularly in that uh, March period. And that's a good information to know for me to analyze. And then these are the uh, information, uh, more detailed information, right? Um, also, I've created another uh, report called Access Trend. Uh, this is another layout. So, right? So now like I have a couple, uh, more than a couple of charts here, um, but this chart, for example, the first chart gives me the um, idea of number of the login by the status. So the success is blue and then the failure is red. And then it looks like uh, around this time, like uh, uh, middle of the April, uh, the number of users increase 
um, but mostly uh, around like less than four, except this time, like it's, um, it looks like here is like the 22 uh, log wins um, on the 2011 uh, March 8th. So I'm not sure like something happened that day, there was a demo, there was something happened. But also like I'm looking at here, it looks like there's an increase uh, coming up to the current date. So maybe like I should prepare uh, for the increase in number of the users um, to make sure this reporting experience is going to be consistent. And when I look at here is the number of the reports accessed by the status. So the, what I'm partic particularly interested in is this failure, right? So the like failure is pretty much the zero, so which is good. Um, so most of the reports have been running okay, successfully. And then this, um, uh, when I look at the, this blue bar, like basically I can understand like how many um, reports being executed um, in the uh, in the time trend, right? Or here, like I'm looking at these reports, this one uh, gives you the idea of like what day or what time the um, people log into this system. On the right hand side is uh, uh, the same thing, the what day and what time the people access into the report. So for example, when I'm looking at here, some uh, hike uh, can be observed here, right? So that is, this is um, uh, red is Monday, and then the blue is Tuesday, but I'm on seven o'clock. So I'd like to see like what's going on here, right? So for example, if I click this, and I get the data, more detailed data here, and then the, this data is a report audit report um, being access um, around this time. So, so many people try to access the uh, audit report maybe before they go to the off, uh, they go back to home or something. So, so maybe that's that on a Monday and it's Tuesday. So the beginning of the week, uh, this report being um, uh, access to. So maybe like I want to make sure these two days are important, especially around this time, instead of like increasing them. Uh, scale the environment in, in the morning, maybe like I should focus on the evening or something like that. Uh, so also, for example, like if I take this criteria out and especially I'm curious on the failure report, so what report is failing? And then for example, like if I come here and it looks like this brand revenue detail uh, is fading and then that report is accessed by Barack Obama and then say for passenger report accessed by the Steve Jobs and it looks like a connection. Uh, when I look at the message text, there's something to do with the connection. And also, when I look at the, here, this message, something to do with the connection between a BI, EE, BI server, and a BI publisher. So that's something that uh, gives me the information of like where to tackle to address the problem. Okay, that's it. So BI publisher auditing and a framework. And with the new release of 11.115, you have more data to audit and monitor to improve your customer's reporting experience. All right, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. This is Kan Nishida from BA Publisher Team.